G'day, Jerry here from Cyclone Fly Traps. Well, it's the beginning of winter now, and it's at this time of the year when I like to go in there and start hacking away at my North American pitcher plants, in a friendly way, of course. Remember, North American pitcher plants go dormant during the winter, and I know my plants are dormant, they've stopped growing, uh, they're not producing any new pitchers, and basically I'm seeing more and more older leaves. So it's a good time to get in there now and start hacking away. Now you achieve a couple of things. First thing is you pave the way for new growth in spring when it arrives and secondly by removing the leaves you remove any pests that may be present on those leaves. So it's well worth doing. So let's get in there and start hacking away. Okay so the trick when you're cutting off the pictures is to cut off as close to the base as you can all right. So just with one hand move the picture out of the way and then with your second tier just give it a nice clean chop down the base like so all right again do the same with all the other ones here's another one with the other hand move it down slightly or whatever it does to make it easy for your second tiers to get in there and give it a nice clean chop it's pretty simple now you might see some older pictures like so see this one here and it's, you can see that it's brown all the way down to the base. So these ones here, the older ones, should uh, easily remove. So just uh, pull it, resting your thumb on the rim of the pot, just give it a nice gentle pull. And you can see there how it's come out. You can see it's nicely cleanly removed, and that's because it's come off from the rhizome. And by doing that, you're paving the way for new growth uh, in spring. Okay? Now, as you're cutting away with the second tiers, make sure you don't cut any of these, uh, this growth here. This is living tissue, it's resting, it's um, ready for new growth in spring. So you don't want to cut that with your second tiers. So that's why I said when you're removing your pictures with one hand, move it downwards and just cut off cleanly with your second tiers. And keep doing that with uh, all the other leaves, and all the other pictures. Okay, so this is the same plant with all the pictures removed and you can see here where I've cut away all those pictures and you can also see here these rhizomes. See here. And again, I want to emphasize you don't want to cut the edges of those rhizomes because that's where all those new leaves will appear in spring. Now while I'm here, you may see some uh, older woody stems like so. So just with the tips of your fingers, just give it a bit of a tug and it should come out quite easily. Again, by doing this, you're paving the way for new growth in spring. So just give it a bit of a pull and you can see there how it comes off cleanly from the rhizome. So that's a way of preparing your plants for spring.